So let's return to our naming convention for a moment. Here we see a how-to on writing out a whole number using digits. So if I give you an English language uh, description, you should be able to write out what the particular number value would be. So we identify the particular words that indicate the period that we're in. And recall that the ones period, of course, is never named, so that's at the very end. When we draw the three bl blanks that we need to include the number of places for each period, we implement the digits named by our English language vocabulary, and then simply name the number in each period, placing the digits in the correct value position. So for example, here I'm asked to write 9,246,073,189 as a whole number. So let's start from the beginning here. I have 9 billion. Now, instead of working backwards to figure out how many place values I need, let's just start with what's given. 9 billion. Thinking of the expressions that were shown earlier, I know that the period that we're in is the billions period. And remind yourself that all periods have at least three place values to work with. Now, think of what we said earlier um, versus something like 179 billion. This would indicate that we actually only have 9, which means it would go in the last place value of that period. So that is our billions place. Next, we have 246 million. Again, three digits. Therefore, we should have another period followed by a comma. And reading out the digit one more time, 246 would mean that our place values are going to have 2, 4, and 6. 73,000 would be our next period. So there's our thousands place. 73 would be 073. And then lastly, we wrap things up 189 for our last digits. These are in the ones place, so we don't really place anything um, at the end as far as commas. And there's our number, 9,246,073,189. 9, so we can also talk about rounding and it's relative um, to place value because this is actually what we use to give instructions on how to round whole numbers. So the process of approximating a number is what we refer to as rounding. Say for instance that the population of New York is approximately 20 million. Well, it might be exactly 19,256,981. Of course, this is a continuing number. You can imagine that on the daily, there are people being born, people dying, so that number is in flux. So approximation is actually very useful. So how do we actually round whole numbers? Again, it has to do with place value. So we locate the given place value that we're interested in rounding to. Now find the digit to the right of that given place value. Is the digit greater than or equal to five? Essentially, is it closer to the next place value or is it closer to the place value below it. This is simple, um, and we'll see an example in just a moment. So once we've determined yes or no to that question, then we replace all digits to the right of the given place value with zeros, right? So if I ask you to round the number of New Yorkers to the uh, 10 millions place, and I said that there are exactly 19 a uh, million eight hundred twenty six thousand two hundred and forty individuals well the place value that I'm interested in rounding is this one right this is the millions place and the digit to the right of that we have to ask one of these two questions is it greater than five well the answer is yes therefore to approximate um, we would say this is exactly going to be 10 million excuse me 20 million so here we have a couple more examples. I'm asked to round to the nearest hundredth in both cases. So where is the hundredth place value? Well, the hundredths place is here where I have an 8 and here where I have a 7. So the place value to the right is the one we're interested in, actually. So in both cases, we say that 17,852 in the place value to the right of where we're interested in rounding is a five or more, which means that 17,852 is actually closer to 17,900 than it is to 17,800. That's all we're differentiating between. Is this value going to be closer to 
17,800 or 17,900? And the answer is simply which one on the number line that this is closest to by virtue of the digits to the right of the place value we're interested in. So here we again say the heuristic is this rule about whether or not the digit is greater than or equal to 5. So a heuristic is just a simple rule that tells us what to do. In both these cases, we would say that the digit to the right of the place value you're interested in is 5 or more, so we can round up. So in our first case, I would say 17,900 is what we want to round to. In the second case, I have 468,751. Rounding again upwards tells me to decide whether or not this number is closer to 468,700 or is it closer to 468,800. And again, because of the digit to the right being 5, we would say it's closer to 46, 468,800. Here's another example where we are asked to round to the 100,000 and 10,000 place. So for the hundreds place, this is the place value we're interested in. We look to the decimal, or excuse me, the place value to the right. For part A, we can see that the digit to the right of the place value we're interested in rounding to is a 7, which means we are going to round up. So 103,978 is closer to 103,000. Uh, excuse me, 104,000, if we round, we will be going up. So this would give us 104,000. So it's actually closer to um, 104,000 than it is to 103,900, which makes sense, right? So looking at the next example, the thousands place, we can actually say the same thing. The thousands digit is here but the digit to the right is the 9, which means we round up, so this is still going to be 104,000. Now for 10,000, the question becomes, is 103,978 closer to what? 100,000 or 110,000? Well, let's look at the digits to the right again. So the 3,978 is the portion we're interested in which sounds like it's a lot closer to 100,000 than it is 110,000. So that, again, would be our closest for rounding. 